This is Carl Brooks with IamThereforeiPad.com and we're continuing our series on the best Cydia apps for the iPhone 4S. So the, the before I go any further I have to mention Display Recorder. I'm filming this video on Display Recorder right from the iPhone 4S uh, it is an excellent jailbreak application that allows you to record everything that happens on your iPhone 4S as well as the audio. And so it's a must-have app. I can't remember how much it costs, but it's definitely well worth it if you do anything like this or, or need to do any training to teach people about the iPhone 4S or iPad. It's a great app. But you simply create a a way to activate the program and once it starts recording you're in business uh, but in the settings app there's an area for it that allows you to change certain things about your recording ways to uh, upload your information you see the user guide there as well. So it has a setting in the has settings in the settings app, but it also has a an actual icon that you can go into. Now you see I'm recording now, so I'm not going to stop that recording. But that's where you're able to manage the recordings, and you can then uh, send it, send it to the camera roll or export it to YouTube uh, or in various other sources. So it's an excellent app. The next app I want to talk about is called Color Keyboard. Color Keyboard 199 and what this does is when whenever you invoke a app that uses the text you can create, look at my keyboard there, you can create uh, your own customized keyboard for your iPhone. You can put a picture on the background, you can change the colors of the keys. Uh, very nice app just to customize your device. So within the settings app you see you see the keyboard, color keyboard. You have different things that you can add. You can enable or turn it on whenever you want. Backgrounds So I think it's uh, a very nice app. Color keyboard. The next one is called XCon. XCon is an app that you may need if you have a particular app like Skype. On my iPad, I have a uh, app from my cable provider, Brighthouse, and those app developers purposely single out the jailbreakers and say hey this device is jailbroken therefore I'm not going to let you use my my application where your use of the application of uh, has no bearing on being jailbroken so I don't know why they discriminate against uh, jailbreakers but XCon uh, works with various applications that try to to prevent you from using it on a jailbroken uh, device now it's not for piracy so it's not letting you use a, a app that you would have to buy and trying to avoid paying for it. It doesn't do that. It's for an app that you legitimately can buy or is free on the iPhone or iPad. And for whatever reason, the developer has chosen to not allow it to work on the jailbroken device. XCon will allow you to use those apps once again. And one of my absolute favorites is SBS Settings. If you look at the top of my screen in the center, you see I have the date, the time, and how much memory is available. Uh, that's a, a often overlooked function of SBS settings. Now this is SBS settings. I, I To invoke it, I simply slide my finger across the top of my screen. And you see I can quickly turn on locations, on and off, Bluetooth, on and off, Wi-Fi, data. Uh, SSH, airplane mode, I can change the brightness, all these different things are very quickly done 
without accessing a program. I can be on whatever program I want and simply access these things. But there's also a more button here. And this more button is where you get to um, you can set which toggles you have on your screen. Okay. You can change a whole lot of things in here. But SPS settings options, this is where you can show those things that are on top of the bar. This is a must have application for any jailbroken device.